Hey YouTube, this is Bungsy, and welcome to another edition of Bungsy's Two Minute Review on Stuff I Wish I Knew About Stuff Before I Bought It. Be sure to subscribe to my series where I do these fun little two minute reviews on ultralight backpacking gear and camping gear. Uh, my goal here is to help you pick the right product right out of the gate. So today I am taking a look at the new Lone Peak 3.5s by Ultra. Um, I have not hit the trails in them uh, for any long distance hiking, but I have been wearing them for a couple weeks and have done quite a bit of running in them. Now, books have been written about Ultras. Songs have been composed about Lone Peaks, about how great these shoes are, and I couldn't agree more. So I'm not going to waste any time talking about the wonders of Ultras. Uh, instead, what I'm going to be focusing on today is the difference in fit that I noticed between the new 3.5s and the 3s. Okay, so let's start the clock. Where you will notice the difference in fit is around the toe box. Everything else feels the same. The, the, the top, the heel, the, the feel on your foot when you're running, the, the sole, it's the same shoe. However, you will notice, I notice, a significant difference across the top. Take a look at this video. Um, what you'll see here as I poke and prod my shoes, first off, the 3.0 is the red shoe, and the 3.5 is this new black shoe. As I poke and prod this video, what you should see is that the material is noticeably different, first off. Now, actually, the material on the new 3.5s is a little softer. However, it's a tighter fit. It's not as forgiving, or they just cut it a little more exact than they cut the 3.0s. I'm not sure. Bottom line, though, as you can see as I poke and prod these shoes, there's a good amount of give in the 3s. It fit like a sock. It felt like a sock. Um, that's a compliment. 3.5s, while they're very comfortable, there's just, it's, it's not as forgiving the material. Now, I'm sure they made these changes because the 3.0s wear out, especially if you're wearing them on trails. That sock-like feel, the downside is it can fray. Um, so th they had, they've changed it for a good reason. But as a consequence, what they've done is they've built out the toe box more. And this material, again, take a look as I poke at it, this new toe box is much more rigid. And the bottom, the bottom line is you feel that when you're wearing it. It's not a bad thing, but you do feel that. And so long story short, I think you should s consider sizing up. Um, so I hopefully that helped. Uh, just a quick piece of advice. Um, go to a local retailer or maybe try somebody like Zappos. Zappos stocks these shoes. Uh, Zappos offers free shipping and free returns. So order this in your natural size as well as a half a size up and wear them around the house. Uh, my strong advice for, the most, for most of us is size up. Get a half a size bigger to account for the more rigid toe box. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my series where, again, I will continue to do these fun little two-minute reviews and ultralight backpacking gear. Um, and my goal, again, is to help you pick the right product right out of the gate. Thanks. See you on the next one.